Well, hello! Welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday and I have a special surprise for you today. So Cade is so excited. He has to um, head out to basketball practice right now and I was like, awesome! You're never here on, on uh, Fridays at 11.30. So I'm going to have him say a quick hello as he's walking out the door. And Kate, you're going to be happy to know there's like literally nobody watching right now. So <laughs> you just say hi to the camera. Hi, so, hi everyone person. Yeah. <laughs> Duck down a little bit. <laughs> oh, Nancy, come here and say hi to Nancy. Now Nancy's watching. No. All right. We got a couple eyeballs. Anyway, he was like, mom, I don't want to do that. I was like, just say hello. That's all you have to do. So anyway, he's out to uh, basketball practice. They just have a short practice today because they have a game in Ogama Heights, which is like two two hours away from here. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a long trip for them. Good luck, Cade, uh, tonight. Um, <clears throat> Lily and I actually have to go down to Lansing to a dance convention, so I'm not able to watch his game. But actually, that makes me think. I figured out how I can listen to his game on um, the local radio station here. So I got to make sure to bring my earbuds because I don't know if everybody else is going to want to listen to that tonight. So I'm like, mental note, I need to remember to bring my earbud things um, tonight. So Nancy, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. And Happy New Year, Charlene. Hi, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad you can join us. Um, yeah, hopefully everybody had a great near New Year. This is like the weirdest... I don't know, the last couple of weeks, that post that I <laughs> put on our Facebook group, I don't know if you guys saw that about like, what day of the week is it? I don't know. That's my main thing. What day of the week is it? Like, I can't believe it's another Friday. I feel like we just had a Friday, but yet we didn't. I don't know. It kind of feels like every day's kind of been Friday or Saturday or Sunday lately. So, hey, Wendy. Hey, Sharon. Glad you guys can join us. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, hopefully everyone else is a little bit more straight on like what day of the week it is than I am because <laughs> I don't know. It's it, it'll all get done. And actually, <clears throat> big, exciting thing, right? Today is the first day of celebration. Monica, hello in Kentucky. How are you doing? Um, yeah, so this is super exciting, right? Celebration begins. I can finally show the insides of all of our catalogs. So yes, celebration, hey Tammy, has begun today officially. So maybe I haven't even gotten online yet, um, but you know, I'm sure people are already ordering, getting their first orders in to take advantage of celebration. So I'm gonna just do a quick flip. You guys maybe have seen this catalog or brochure. If you have not, the big thing to know about is these little um, buttons or icons right here. The purple one means that item in this brochure is free with a $50 product order. So it's before tax and shipping, uh, $50 in product. And then the red little button there is uh, free with a $100 product purchase. Um, so for example, that cute little, let me see if I can show light, the Gangs All Mirror stamp set, that's got the purple um, button. So that's free with a $50 purchase. Um, yeah, so we've got that designer series paper. I just love that I can show you guys this brochure now too. So the beautiful um, last Lily impressions. I don't know. I can't remember the names of these yet. I know I've said that like 14 times and I still don't know the names of them. But the Lily Impression Designer Series paper on that side. And then over here we have the awesome, I've used a ton of this, the Metallic Baker's Twine, So Saffron, uh, Bermuda Bay, and then a bunch of sequins, like 750 sequins in So Saffron, Bermuda Bay, and Calypso Coral is the other color. Um, so that's those are all free with $50 orders. Um, if I go this way, right, we've got, this one is called the Happy Birthday to You stamp set, free with a $50 order. Some fun projects shown there, right? And then this card kit I made, these cards the other day, they are so cute. I'm gonna, I'm saving those maybe next week because I have so much I wanna show you guys this week that I can't, I can't do everything. So we're gonna spread it out a little bit. But this is a super cute, simple, easy, all you need is adhesive. If even, actually, I feel like because they give you little mini glue dots and dimensionals, you might not even need adhesive. I used my snail just because I like to work with that a little bit better than the glue dots when I don't have to. Uh, this is awesome. The Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series Paper. Black and white with gold accents, shimmery gold accents. Super cute. Free with a $50 order. 
then over here, our product of the week, this awesome Sending You Thoughts stamp set is also purple button free with a $50 order. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I shared some projects. Actually, they might look familiar because I grabbed um, pictures from uh, Stampin' Up to kind of feature some of the sentiments that are in that Sending You Thoughts stamp set um, <clears throat> on my post this week. The other awesome stamp set, the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set, free with a $50 order. We used that one a couple of weeks ago, actually. And then the Fun Punch that coordinates with the flowers in the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set. That's got the red button because it's free with a $100 purchase. And then some more fun projects showing the stamp set and the punch there too on those pages. And then last, I think it's last. No, well, kind of last. Anyway, this stamp set called, well, Power of Hope, it's actually a bundle because you get this, I think it's a very kind of Asian inspired theme or look to the stamp set. And then you get an embossing folder, the stone 3D embossing folder. So you get the stamp set and the embossing folder, that bundle with the red button free with a $100 order. And this is all, so you don't have to do it all at once unless you want to, put your Mac Daddy order in, get as many. So for every 50 or in some cases, $100 product purchase. So say if you put like a $300 order in, you could get six free $50 celebration items or you could get a couple of $100 items and maybe a couple of $50 items. And then you also get this super cute ladybug. It is called Little Ladybug Stamp Set. So automatically, and they kind of show over here, when you put a $300 order in, right, you can get this stamp set for free. Again, like I said, you could get like six free $50 celebration items. And then you also get host rewards, which on a $300 order is in very small print here and backwards probably, 12% of your order. So 300, 12%, that's $36 in free stuff too. So that's kind of, I would say, the sweet spot during celebration, unless you wanna bump up to $450 and then you get that free, or not free, but half off item. At that point, you would be getting nine free celebration items. So you could get <laughs> most everything out of this brochure. Hey Zara, how are you? Yay, it's celebration. I'm sure you're super excited about that too. So yeah, I'm just so, well, honestly, I'm just so excited to be able to show the inside of that little brochure because I have been like loving it for so long and I want you guys to enjoy it too. So if you do not have a copy of the celebration brochure, let me know and I can get one sent out to you. Just send me a message, okay? Then what else? Uh, well, now I can show you the inside. Hey, Kay, good morning. Thank you for joining us. The um, This catalog is also live, our spring mini catalog. So everything in here you can order now. So I will, I'm not gonna flip through this whole catalog. Hopefully, like I said, if you guys don't have a copy, let me know and I can get one sent out to you. But hopefully you have gotten a copy of this or um, now you can look online too. So yeah, good, 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 fun time of year for sure. Great, because you know now uh, all the holidays are over and you kind of get into the bleh, like blah January, at least here in Michigan, it's definitely a blah January day. Although we have had a lot of sun. It's funny, because I kind of almost hope that it's not too sunny on Fridays, because it messes with, <laughs> it messes with the lighting a lot. So you guys know that I'm always dragging the table. So I don't have to drag the table today anyway. Um, so, okay. <clears throat> oh, I know the other thing. Well, first of all, welcome. Anybody new to Facebook Live? Hey, Sandy, thank you for joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new to Facebook Live, either watching on the live right now or if you're watching later or on YouTube, thank you so much for joining us and please say hello. Just drop a quick comment. I love to hear from people because especially later, I know I always say this, but they're all the, I can see like um, the video's been viewed by you know however many people, but I don't know who you are and I love to know who's watching. Um, so please say hello. I love to hear from you, okay? Um, okay, so I wanna do a quick reminder too about the starter kit because you can get the deal, the celebration deal, now that starter kit deal, which is actually at the very back of, I think it is, yeah, the last two pages. Yep, so we've got the host and then join right here. So they show you, right, you spend $99, you pick $125 in product, you get the sampler pack of designer series paper, you get the cute little paper trimmer, and you get your choice of any free stamp set. So I know I showed you guys um, the paper, but I love the sampler pack 
So I'm not, am I gonna be able to get it pulled out? Yeah, look at this paper is gorgeous. Like, and it's a little bit of everything. There's some um, celebration paper. There is some uh, spring mini catalog paper. So you get 48 different sheets. Good morning, ladies. Thank you guys for saying hello. Um, yeah, so a sampler of awesome designer series paper. Then you get the little, I'm gonna try not to hurt myself here, this little, I always have to make that noise because that's what it does, right? Super cute little paper trimmer. Have used this and I'm enjoying because you can actually make really little cuts with it too. And this little guard, um, can you kind of see this clear thing? It, it's actually got feet on the back here, if you can see those. So it's almost like you can pop it up a little bit. So can you see how much I've popped that up? So you can slip your paper inside there and really get it right where you want it. So you can make, like you can cut little like skinny pieces of paper with it. And then that just pops back down too once you get your paper in place. So I love that, that it's got a little give to it to get your paper or whatever you're cutting. Cause I think you could cut a little bit thicker stuff with that too. I know honestly, like with my big, like I still have um, the like guillotine paper cutter from Stampin' Up from I don't know how many years, 10 years ago. And I can cut like that chipboard that comes like um, on the back of like designer series paper, some of that really thick chipboard. I can cut that with my big guillotine. I wouldn't do that. I would not go crazy with the little paper trimmer, but I think you can cut thicker than just regular cardstock and DSP. <laughs> hey, Nikki, no problem. Anytime you can join us, I'm glad you're here. So thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, okay. So yeah, you get the paper sampler, you get the um, paper cutter, and then, because I was super curious, I was, because I keep telling everybody with this starter kit, pick the most expensive stamp set that you can. Actually, what I did was I took, this catalog hey amy joe hey i'm so glad you can join us um the big annual catalog and in the very back is our stamp set index and i literally like scanned down here and tried to figure out which stamp sets were the most expensive and that's kind of what i'm telling everybody to do go through the catalog find the most expensive stamp sets which i will tell you i found one two three four five six seven <clears throat> excuse me eight stamp sets that are $33 or more and those are like the most expensive anywhere from 33 to $45 I'll tell you what those are in a sec but the most expensive stamp set in the annual catalog and actually they weren't too pricey I didn't have any out of the spring mini catalog that I would call like most expensive they're all pretty reasonably priced in here so what I would say to do is go through you know obviously get whatever stamp set you want but why not get the most expensive one that you want, right? So go through, check everything out. The most expensive stamp set in the annual catalog is this huge two-part well-said stamp set. This one is the most expensive. Like I said, it maxes out. Let me make sure, yeah, at $45. So if you don't have this stamp set plus, it's awesome. You get tons and tons. I'm not even gonna read through those, but you can kind of see, like, look at it. It's a two-part stamp set or um, two full, right? Like, look at, I haven't even, I've used a few of them, right? Um, 51 stamps in the stamp set. So awesome stamp set. The others, I'll just give you a quick rundown, things to kind of, I would just take a peek at and see if you like them, get those, because they're the most expensive, right? Hey, Margie, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Uh, okay, so in the annual catalog, again, the most expensive stamp sets are A Wish for Everything, Flourishing Phrases, Good Morning Magnolia, Itty Bitty Greetings, Lined Alphabet, Rooted in Nature, Special Celebrations, and Well Said. And again, all I did was go through the index, found the most expensive ones, made my little list. So I've got this down at the studio, so if people are asking me um, about the starter kit, I can say, hey Pam, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Um, I can say, hey, this is the quick list of the most expensive. Check those out, see if you like them. If not, like I said, get whatever you want. But awesome, awesome, awesome time to get the starter kit. Plus, you guys know this, right? You get 20% off of everything that you order after that. There is no pressure. You put whatever orders in that you want. I always tell people that. Um, Stampin' Up! is kind of what you would call a very like soft sell company. Like they're not gonna be hounding you about putting a bunch of orders in. Um, they will let you know once you get to pending status because they want, you know, they want to make sure you're informed and i do the same thing too i give you information and you do whatever you want with that information um 
So just so you know that there's never lots of pressure, but it's kind of like if you want lots of stuff in the catalog, why not get the starter kit? Cause it's such a great deal right now. And then you get your 20% off for as long as you want. If you don't meet, so what it is, it's a $300 quarterly minimum. If you don't meet that $300 quarterly minimum, basically your demonstrator ID kind of drops and then you just can't get onto the Stampin' Up! demonstrator website any longer. That's the only thing that happens, okay? So let me know. I would love for you to become an Inkspired Stamper, be a part of our group, be a part of my team. Um, I do lots of fun things for you guys, like give you uh, the PDF tutorials for all my class to go kits. You can get those for free every single month, or you can get you know any of my past uh, PDF tutorials that are, that are listed. They are on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. There is a PDF tutorial um, store on there too, so check that out. Um, what else? Just we have an awesome group. We have a whole separate Facebook group that we use for our Inspired Stampers. We do um, a meeting every single month. It's live here in Michigan, or we do it on Facebook Live so you can stay connected. I have had um, people say, I was kind of hesitant about getting the starter kit like through me if they're further away, but they have really appreciated feeling connected with me and with our group through our Facebook group, this group, and then our Inspired Stampers group too. So I would love to have you join me. I'd love to have you be a part of our Inspired Stampers if you're thinking about that. And if you have any questions, please just say so okay um all right what else do we have i think i want to do a quick double check but i think we are ready to do some drawings are you guys ready all right i feel like i want to just like fling stuff out of the way i'm gonna just scoot it back over here there we go okay so we are going to do our first drawing for these are my absolute favorites. You guys are gonna see so much of these. These champagne rhinestones is what we are giving away this week if you shared the Facebook Live video, which I appreciate. And actually, you know what I would love? If you guys are a part of any other crafting, paper crafting, I don't know, scrapbooking, card making groups, share the video if you would to those Facebook groups because um, that's a great way for me to kind of reach new people that might be um, you know, interested in hanging out with us on Fridays at 11.30. So thank you. Any way you can share on your personal Facebook or in any group that you're a part of is truly appreciated. So those names, anybody that shared last Friday's Facebook Live video is in here as I've been shaking that all around. And if you signed up for my email list, if you haven't done that yet. So, okay, we're going to shake these around and we're going to draw. I just have to make sure I have only one in my hand. Vina, Miss Vina Gomez, congratulations. And thank you for sharing the Facebook Live video. So Miss Vina, I will get you the uh, champagne rhinestone sent out to you. So thank you very much for your share, Miss Vina. All right, I'm scooping that over here. So this week, oops, actually I should dump these out. So I need my little basket here for the other drawing we will do in a moment. So this week we are gonna give away, these are super cute. These are the heart doilies. I'm gonna pull them out because I think you can see them a little bit better in the package. So again, share the Facebook Live video. Uh, sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already. There is a link on my blog. Everything's linked. If you don't know where to go, go to Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, and you can get to wherever you need to go, okay? So we get a bunch of, I think it's 40. Let me make sure. Oh my gosh, can I read that? I'm pretty sure that says 40. Honestly, my eyes are, isn't that crazy? I cannot tell you. I think it's 40. I think it's 20 and 20. So maybe, maybe not. Anyway, you get a good amount. This is my partially used pack. I have the one I'm, I've am i ordered to give away is on its way here, but I wanted to show you guys. So red, real red doilies, and then these are flirty flamingo doilies. And the kind of cool thing about them, I'll show you one because I think you can see the detail a little bit better, right? Super cute little doilies. And then the backside is white. So there really are three colors, right? We've got red, pink, and white on the backside of all of them. And they're good sturdy ones too. Um, I don't think they're really gonna stick together like some of our other doilies are super thin and they kind of stick together. These will not. So people will only ever use one at a time like if you run a class or anything. And they're just so, I think you can see the detail even better, can't you, when I flip it to the white side. Super duper cute. So, and those are all part of the For My Love Suite, I think it's called, in the new spring mini catalog. Okay, I gotta put these back in here because otherwise I'm afraid they'll get flung 
who knows where as we are doing things. Okay, so now we are gonna do another drawing. Hey Karen, how are you? Happy New Year. Yeah, to everyone, Happy New Year. So uh, on the, um, last week, I actually, this was kind of interesting. So I didn't have any online orders through Wednesday at midnight, but then a couple of online orders came in uh, just yesterday on Thursday. So I was like, you know what? I really want to give away this the gang's all mirror stamp set so the online orders that came in on thursday i don't usually do that but i'm doing it i put your names in the drawing because like i said i really want to give that stamp set away so one of you lucky ladies is going to be getting the gang's all mirror stamp set so we are gonna shake these around 40 thank you sharon my eyes i kept looking at that like does that say 50 or 60 thank you so sharon's telling us 40 doily so it is 20 real red and 20 flirty flamingo okay so all right you're going to do our drawing for that cute that gangs all mirror i haven't even played with that stamp set yet i think i'm a little afraid because it looks like i might need to color <laughs> And sometimes I don't want to do that, but but I, we will be having fun at some point when I'm ready to show you some fun projects. We will be um, playing with that one as well. So in the meantime, Miss Lisa Johnson is our winner of the Gangs All Mirror stamp set. So thank you, Miss Lisa, for your online order. I appreciate that, and I will be getting this stamp set sent out to you. So congratulations. All right, now you guys want to know what we're going to give away. So I'm thinking you guys are all waiting, right, until uh, January 3rd, until today, to order to get your fun celebration items, right? Because I know a lot of times, like, everybody's like, okay, we've got everything we want out of the holiday catalog, and you're waiting, waiting, waiting in anticipation of celebration, getting your free items with every $50 order, right? Um, actually... Let me pull that back over here. Speaking of that, I have my new embellishment for January. I'm crossing my fingers. I just have to make sure because I haven't put an order in yet, but I'm planning to order a whole bunch of the uh, champagne rhinestones as my free embellishment with any order over $50 in January. Okay, so like I said, fingers crossed, I'm going to get my order in after we're done with Facebook Live, hoping to get a bunch of the champagne rhinestones stones ordered so for every $50 order that you put in between now and January 31st you're gonna get a package of those champagne rhinestones and then each week your name will go in the drawing to win and I'll show you what we're gonna draw for next week in just a sec uh, but you'll go your name will go in the drawing and um, oh yeah then you also get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook live with just a $30 order there okay so this week we are going to give away this is one of my favorites I think I just I love the little flowers in the stamp set so the thoughtful bloom stamp set is what you're going to be um, potentially winning in the drawing on next Friday's Facebook live if you put an order in of at least $30 and use the host code I updated it it's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and then I've got it here on my table. I'll show you in just a couple minutes. But remember, so super cute, right? The Thoughtful Bloom stamp set. We demonstrated this card that features the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set on Facebook Live a couple of weeks ago. Um, so this is a fun example of something that you could make with this stamp set if you win it, right? Okay. Um, I'm like racing through, I feel like, ooh, because I just am so excited to share all this fun celebration stuff with you guys. So, okay. I think um, I'm going to do a couple of quick reminders just about we've got bingo at the stamp studio, the what I call the live bingo, not as opposed to dead, but as opposed to online. So live bingo at the stamp studio on Thursday, January 23rd. I need RSVP and payment by, and it's going to come up quickly, Monday, January 13th. So let me know if you have any questions on that. There are links to all of this stuff on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. If you want more info, just click on the events, takes you to my calendar. Next thing, we have the weekend retreat on March 13 through 15. I have some notes, it says C notes. What are my notes? Oh, my notes are, if you sign up for the weekend retreat by February 10th, you get a free gift from me. Final RSVPs are due by February 21st, okay? Then our one day retreat is on April 18th, Again, you get a free gift if you sign up and prepay by March 20th, and then final RSVPs are due by April 3rd. And more info on all of those, um, those retreats are on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, 
I feel like like an infomercial or something. So then also don't forget we have card class, the simple beautiful card class. We're gonna play with some awesome new stuff from the celebration brochure and the spring mini catalog next Wednesday, which is January 8th. Yes, January 8th from 6 to 8.30 and Friday, January 10th from one until three o'clock. And then lastly, don't forget about the designer series paper share. I've had a bunch of people that are already signed up, but if you wanna get a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in both the occasions catalog, and I'm throwing in free celebration, both packs of celebration designer series paper, you get those for free with your paper share, and that's just $26. Um, if you want me to, if you wanna sign up, the best thing to do is just send me a message here. You can even post on here, send me a Facebook message, email me, and I will send you the PayPal link to get you signed up. Because again, right after Facebook Live, I'm gonna get that order in too. Um, yeah, so if um, you want some designer series paper, and I'll keep ordering it as I get groups of four um, throughout the whole month of January. I'm gonna keep it open for the whole month. Hey, Rosemary, how are you? Are you back? And Michigan I'm thinking maybe you are right so hopefully you had a great trip um, but yeah if you want the designer series paper share let me know and we can get you signed up and then so I'm gonna order it as soon as it comes in um, I will get everything cut and sent back out you made it yes ha ha yes you did make it good for you Rosemary all right um okay I think we are ready to yeah let's see Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the other, I have more notes here. My other note is if you want to make sure you stay informed about all of the events that we have going on, promotions, anything basically that, that's going on with uh, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio online or in person, sign up for my email list. If you haven't done that already, that is the best way. That is my most effective way of getting information out to people. I know people are like, oh my gosh, she emails me all the time. But for me, I sit down once a month, which I'm gonna tell you is not my favorite day of the month, but I put, I get my email together for the entire month, get them all scheduled to go out to you. And it's for me to make sure that I keep everybody super well informed about what is going on. So if you haven't signed up for my email list, do that and then you'll never miss out on anything. That's like my joke. Like truly, I promise you will never miss out on anything. <laughs> all right, so we are gonna flip the camera down. So flew in Detroit last night. All right, so hopefully maybe you don't have to work yet, right? I'm hoping for you that you have a little bit of time off before you have to get back to work. Rosemary was just on her honeymoon. Sorry, you guys. It's like a little side conversation, but I saw her pictures on Facebook and it looked like a fabulous trip. Oh my goodness, good for you. Yay, that's awesome and congratulations. So, okay, turn your heads away. We are gonna flip the camera down and we will do some stamping. Okay. All right, that button is right there, right? It is, okay, let's see. We need to make some adjustments here. It looks like there. Nope, you still see the leg. I really hate that. <laughs> I wanna just cover that up. Um, if I go, does that make it any better? Sorry. I should have had that figured out. Melissa, hello, how are you? I'm futzing with my camera mount right now. Well, I think that's gonna be good enough. So I will give you this host code while I'm looking at this right now. So this is the new host code to use for January. It is M9XQB4VQ. And I try to memorize these, but this one is like a mouthful and there's no real, <laughs> this may never get memorized basically. Anyway, it is always on my blog though at gatheringinspiration.com. So when you go shop online at the end, um, I think it even asks you now if you have a host code, like before you check out. So it's kind of one of the last steps, put everything in that you're gonna order. Down in the bottom, that would be bottom left corner is the little box that says host code. So pop that host code in the box when you order and then that'll help you um, get into all the drawings that I do and the um, projects that I demonstrate. You can get those free as well. So the one thing actually I wanna show you guys, and I like just barely have myself together with this, but I'm dying to show you guys these things. So this is my next class to go, and I still have to get everything posted and emailed and uploaded, but if you want the link, I can send that to you. Um, if you're interested in this class to go because it is awesome. It is called, 
the From My Heart class to go. And, all right, let's see. I've got, you know what? I'll just bring this little tub over, I think. It features the super cute, I had so much fun playing with this stamp set. This is the Heartfelt stamp set, and I'm gonna kind of pop right in here. I love this one too. It says, being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too. <laughs> That's totally right up my alley, right? Uh, so lucky to have a friend like you. Love you lots. There's a love. Um, roses are red, violets are blue, from my heart to yours, and then just some really pretty heart imagery along with a little fun like arrow, Cupid's arrow, right? Okay, so it features the heartfelt stamp set and then buried down in here are the heart punches, the heart punch pack, I think it's called. So you get both of these, you know, right? You get um, this straight edge punch and then this scallop edge heart punch too, okay? So that's the bundle, the stamp set and the punches. These are the ink pad colors that you're gonna need. Basic gray, flirty flamingo, and real red. And then you're gonna make two of each of these projects. So these super cute boxes, and I had to do different ones. I thought, I don't wanna do them all the same. So you'd make two of these little boxes, right? You would actually make two. I only made one of this because I think it's okay. I was kind of trying to stretch your designer series paper too. So, and this is actually one side and then the other side. So you can either do the hearts or the stripes. Um, this one, because it's so little, I thought you could make two of the exact same one. So another cute little from my heart. And I do need to get chocolate. I'm, I didn't get a chance to do that yet, but I wanted to show you guys these. And then, let's see, I'm going to show you these. The cute little uh, three by three note cards featuring some of, what are those called? The From My Heart Faceted Gems. Sorry, I don't even know. I'm like too busy looking at them. Are they in the view? So yeah, just these cute little three by three note cards. Right, and we stamped on the inside of both of those with that little guy right there. And then I love just stamping on the little envelopes. Roses are red, violets are blue with some little hearts there too. So you make a couple of those, and then you would make two of this Valentine card which with my favorite sentiment, which I think is kind of fun because you can send this to friends, family, give it to kids, husband, whoever, right? Because you're friends with all these people that you might be sending a Valentine to, right? So being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too. And then we did some fun on the inside. I popped that up there too. So you'd make two of those. So two of each of these projects, you can get the bundle. If you already have the bundle, there's another option for that. Okay. So option number one, I got to make sure I have this straight, the heartfelt bundle, the stamp set and the punches you actually get. And oh God, I don't have that here, but you get a quarter of a pack of the, where's my catalog? Right here. We'll flip this open. Yeah, you're gonna get a quarter of a pack of the From My Heart Designer Series paper because you're gonna use some of it on your projects, right? You are gonna get a full bolt of the beautiful, this is the Real Red, it's a 3 8 inch wide double stitch satin ribbon. We used a bunch of this on the projects, love this stuff. And then, oh, and you know what? Actually, I do have them, they're right here. I have not too many left, actually. These are the From My Heart Faceted Gems. So can you see these? And I'm actually gonna use these on a project that we're gonna demonstrate in a few minutes. So I'll show you these again. But they come in three different sizes. There's a large, and there's like a medium right there, and then a small, you can see maybe right there too. So three different sizes. There is not adhesive on the back of these, and I'm gonna show you what I think is the best way to adhere these onto your projects in a few minutes. But you get a full package of those too. So here they show them right here, maybe a little bit better. The From My Heart Faceted Gems, the ribbon, and then a quarter of a pack of the Designer Series paper, okay? So that's option number one, plus all the parts and pieces and the PDF tutorial to make two of each of those projects. Option number one is $77, and you actually get the From My Heart Faceted Gems for free in option number one, okay? So option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the punches, do not get option number two if you don't have these because you need to do your stamping and punching on your own, okay? So option number two, hey, Louie's here. Oh, so she she timed it so that she you're gonna come wave. Do you wanna wave? <laughs> Kate actually walked by and said hello, Lily, and she is completely ignoring me because she's a teenage girl, and that's what teenage girls do. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Lil. She's not even, like, saying anything, so you guys think maybe I'm, like, lying that she's here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, yeah, so option number two, you get that quarter pack of paper, you get the From My Heart Faceted Gems, and the real red stitched 
satin ribbon. Option number, actually that's two, right, is $41, okay? Then option number three is just the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put all your cute little projects together. That option number three is $15, and it's always available even after the RSVP deadline passes. Just so you know that too, all of my PDF tutorials are listed on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So if ever you need some inspiration, go check out my PDF tutorials. They're always available. They're always $15. So even, you know, a couple years ago, if there's a stamp set that you've been dying to play with, maybe I have a tutorial for you. So check those out. Um, let's see, option number four is for my downline, you can get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those projects for just $12, just cost for the make and takes. You need to get your stamp set and punch on your own, use your own demo ID to get your discount, okay? Um, I forgot to mention option number one and two, ship priority mail. It's just $8 uh, for priority mail shipping. If you're local, just pick the studio pickup option and then that um, $8 shipping fee is waived. And let's see, you guys also need to know RSVPs are due by Wednesday, January 2nd because I wanna make sure I get these kits shipped out no later than January 31st. So you get them in time. That'll give you probably about 10 days to put your projects together uh, for Valentine's Day. So let me know if you have any questions, but this, oh my gosh, can you just see all the fun goodness here? Love, love, love these projects. Okay, I think we are ready to do our stamping now. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are. Okay, so let's get our grid paper out here. Okay, I'm gonna keep, actually, well, if I scoot that up. Oh, you can't, hmm. I'm like off a little bit on how that is looking, aren't I, right? Okay, I think that'll, yeah. Sorry, I'm futzing around a lot. I wanna make sure that the grid paper is in view because that helps me make sure I know that you guys can see stuff. Okay, I think we're good, right? Okay, so let's see, which project do I wanna show you first? Oh my gosh, you know what? <laughs> so I have to go grab the projects. I put them out because I need to take pictures of them and I forgot and left them over on my little picture taking um, thingy. So hold on, one sec, let me grab those. And then I can decide which one I wanna show you guys first. Okay. We are gonna do this card first. So I love, of course, it features our product of the week, the Th Sending You Thoughts stamp set, free celebration stamp set. You can get it for free with a $50 order starting right now. And I love this. So if loving thoughts could heal, you'd be better already. And I, I love that little flippy fold as I call it, maybe it's a Z, I don't know. I'm never good with the names of things. So, okay, um, and so have you guys, have you paid attention, have you checked out the great sentiments? This is one of those that's got like a sentiment for about every occasion, right? Like, with a great big wish for happiness, What's this I hear? All I can say is maybe congratulations. And then here's this one we used, right? If loving thoughts could heal, you'd be better already. We got happy birthday that we used last week on that card right there, right? Ooh, another sensational year of you. I have to show you guys that one too. Super simple card. I made these actually for my top five inspired stampers. I love to send a congratulations card out every single month to my top five in sales. And I thought, you know, when you first read this, you think uh, maybe birthday, another sensational year of you. But I think it's a great, like, congratulations card, too. Like, you had a fabulous year, right? So that was my idea on that one. Um, then again, that congratulations, thanks, and then sending a little something. So just a great, very versatile stamp set, okay? All right, maybe we'll put that right there. I do have my big shot. Okay, I think I have everything. Let's see if I get myself organized a little bit here. Okay, we'll get our parts and pieces out. I wanna show you guys um, the measurements on this one, which I feel like maybe do I need to move it up a little bit? There, okay. So this is a piece of Grapefruit Grove cardstock, right? So along the eight and a half inch side of our Grapefruit Grove cardstock, we cut it in half at four and a quarter inches. Then, let's see, yep, I did line it up, right? We cut, scored it, excuse me, in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half. And then again, between the five and a half, we scored it again 
at two and three quarters, okay? So that folds like that, and then it flips back like that, okay? And then uh, the inside of our card is our Whisper White piece. This one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And all of the measurements and everything that we're using on these projects will be on my blog later this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? Then the other thing to know is this beautiful, the Lily Designer Series paper, lovely Lily, lasting Lily, Lily Impressions, whatever it's called, um, Designer Series paper is, uh, let's see, two and a half by four inches. And that is gonna fit right on there like that. So isn't that beautiful? It's funny, because I know other people have said they're not really that excited about this paper. And it, it took me like a second, like really not very long at all. And I, I, I think I love these really deep, beautiful, bold colors and then some really cool kind of just wash on the back of them I haven't even used these much I've been having so much fun playing with um, all the patterned paper okay so I think we are ready hmm, I was gonna grab my big shovel we don't need that quite yet we are gonna do our stamping first so let's get our stamps out okay so Actually, no, you know what? This is unusual um, for this piece anyway. I'm gonna cut this because I wanna make sure I have enough room for my sentiment and my little stamps. So we are actually gonna, we're gonna cut that first and then we're gonna do our stamping. Okay, so scoot these little guys out of the way. Hurry out of my die cutting machine. We're gonna pop that right there. Okay, so like I said, typically I stamp and then die cut but I just wanna make sure I have room for everything. So we're gonna do it opposite this time. Okay, so we need, I have to make sure I didn't pull it out, which is kind of funny, yeah. So this is the second largest oval, right, in the stitched oval dies. So we are gonna put that right there, and then we're gonna use, this is Pretty Peacock, just as kind of a scrap piece of Pretty Peacock cardstock. And I'll show you, these are the layering oval dies. So that's where those would go. So this big scallop oval that we're gonna do in a sec on our Grapefruit Grove cardstock is the largest scallop oval in there, if I can grab my paper. And then this straight edge is the one, two, three, the third largest straight edge oval right here that we're gonna use on our pretty peacock cardstock. Okay. So we're going to put those, oops, right on there. Sorry if it wiggles. I'm trying to be quick about the die cutting part. Okay, oops. Oh no, I have to bend over and pick that up. <laughs> you know, when you get old, it's hard to bend over. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. I got it. <laughs> All right, and then lastly... We have the scallop edge oval, and we're gonna crank this one through. And then we can do our stamping and put things together. So you guys know me pretty well by now, I'm sure, that I like my simple stamping. I think you can make beautiful cards without making them super complicated. That way, for me, I always like to make multiples of things too, so it makes it easier to you know, make a few of them. Okay, so we are gonna grab, actually here is, so I'm trying to preserve my grid paper here. I'm gonna grab my scrap little piece of grid paper because I want to stamp, actually we're gonna do those in a second. Ooh, the other, I have to show you the other cool thing too about this other stamp. Okay, sorry, I'm getting all off track. So we're gonna stamp, where is my, oh, here it is. <laughs> my pretty peacock ink, I couldn't find it for a sec. Okay. So we're gonna use Pretty Peacock ink and we're gonna stamp If Loving Thoughts Could Heal. And we want that pretty well in the center. Okay, and then this is awesome, you guys. Have you used like the reversible um, stamping here, right, in this lovely lily pad celebration stamp set? So we're gonna use this stamp that is all one stamp, right? So we are gonna, first of all, uh, actually, nope. Nope, we are gonna do that. Okay, so this reverses. Uh, let me just show you, I think it's easier. Okay, so we're gonna ink it up. I'm gonna stamp it off. 
and I'm going to put one right there. So you can see that's kind of the solid image stamp. So ink it up, stamp it off, and put one more right there. So that just kind of looks like a blob right now, right? But what you do next is you clean this off. Oops, this is really not very wet. <laughs> that's not helping me. Okay, so we clean that off and then you flip it over. That's all you do. Now we can use the more detailed side. Okay, and I'm gonna use full strength on this one. Put that one there and that one there. And they're not always meant to line up too. And you can see that really well. And, and it makes sense because, right, this is not symmetrical. When you flip this stamp over, it looks like this on the other side. So when you stamp that either on top of each other, they don't line up exactly and that's okay. Some of them are symmetrical. Like this one looks fairly symmetrical. So it's going to line up pretty well. So just kind of make sure that's not a big problem for you um, is that it doesn't line up perfectly. So just know that. Because at first when I stamped these two especially, I was like, why is it not lining up? It's not going to and that should be okay with you. So just let it go, okay? All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna stamp on our white piece. So then I've got, here we go, with my blue, my pool. No, this is not pool party, this is pretty peacock. You'd be better already. Let's see if I stamp that right side up. Oh, good, I did. Okay, actually, I'm gonna clean. So again, you can just clean this little guy off, right? Flip it back over. So this is a new thing. What they said is these photopolymer, and I can tell, are a little bit thicker. These stamps are a little bit thicker so that they can do that reversible stamping. Okay, so I'm gonna ink this up. I'm gonna stamp off. Put one right there, ink it up, stamp off. Put one right there, ink it up, stamp off, and put one right there. Now I'm gonna clean this little baby. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip it over again. Isn't this so cool? So you just have to have your little chamois handy. That makes it really easy. Stamp that one, and that one, and that one. There we go. Okay, and that, we're, that's almost it. Of course, I have one more fun little thing to show you guys. We'll do that in a sec though. Okay, so adhesive we have right here. Get my ugly grid paper out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna put this piece on the inside of our card, right? If loving thoughts could heal, you'd be better already. What a nice sentiment, huh? Be a good card to send to somebody with any kind of you know, whatever's going on. Anytime they need to pick me up, you can let them know you're thinking about them with a beautiful card like this. Okay, so that's all we got there. Right now, we're just going to build this up here. So we're going to add some adhesive on our white stitched shape circle, or oval, excuse me. Okay, going to add some more adhesive on the back of those two. We're going to pop those on there. Now, the thing to know, you want to line that up so it doesn't go, you know what I mean? You want to cover up that sentiment. So kind of flip it over, and then you know about, and I want to use a pretty good amount of adhesive so that that really stays. And I want to kind of try to line it up, you know, side to side and top to bottom so it looks for me, I tend to be fairly symmetrical, right? Okay, so now the last fun little step is, I, ha I seem to have all these little partial packs of these rhinestones all over the place. So I thought this was kind of fun to just use our new champagne rhinestones. We're gonna put a little bit bigger one down there, maybe. So what do you guys think? Isn't that so pretty? And I love how that champagne kind of takes on that uh, grapefruit grove, kind of that peachy color when you put those on there. So fun card, huh? Okay, so that's card number one. You could get this card free with your $30 order. And then, all right, let's see. Let me scoot these things out of the way. I will show you our next project. Sorry, I gotta clean up just a little bit here. Okay, yep, I think I got everything. All right, so, all right, I have to show you guys, actually, where's my celebration? There it is, okay. So when I was trying to decide on our product of the week, um, this card right here 
totally caught my eye. So we are gonna make it, at least my version with what I had on hand. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I'm glad you like that card. <laughs> That's cute. Cute card number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, hopefully you enjoy this card too because I loved this one. Of course, because it features some of my other favorite products in the spring mini catalog too. But it does feature our little congratulations stamp that you can see right here in our Sending You Thoughts stamp set. Okay, so casing the catalog, here we go. I'll show you, this is my version of it. And probably one of my favorite parts is one of those From My Heart faceted gems. Can you kind of see that on there? I'm gonna show you how I added that on too. Okay, with some fun embossing and then this die. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys um, that die too. Okay, so here we will get all of my stuff pulled out here. Sorry, I'm still organizing over here. Let me get my ink pads right there. Okay, trying to be tricky and not show you everything at once. But here, these are the pieces that we need anyway. So let me give you measurements as usual. So we have scraps of Whisper White to do some stamping. That's gonna be the top of our pineapple. Pear pizzazz, uh, crushed curry, these are all scraps. And then a little strip of So Saffron to stamp our congratulations on. So measurements, you only need to know that we are starting with, this is a crumb cake card base. Along our 11 inch side, we cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter. Very standard fold on a card. Then we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This one measures three and three quarter by five inches. And again, all the measurements will be on my blog this afternoon. Okay, so we are gonna emboss. Now let's stamp. We're gonna stamp that piece first, and then we'll do our embossing and die cutting. So you'll have to bring the big shot out one time. Okay, so I used Blushing Bride, and it's funny because I think after I went to put that gem on there, they probably used um, the other pink. Why can't I think of the name of it? Uh, whatever the other color. No, no, I don't know, actually, because those, I think, are supposed to be Flirty Flamingo, that pink from my heart faceted gem. I knew I couldn't use Flirty Flamingo, that that would be too bright, but I really kind of liked that dusty pink on there. Um, and I think it goes really well. So, okay, so we're gonna use Blushing Bride, and where is that stamp? Oh, you know what? I pulled that out. I made another video of something else. Well, hold on. No. <laughs> okay, we can do this, ladies. It's right here. Huh. So this is another favorite stamp set of mine right now, the Timeless Tropical. We actually used that stamp the other day, didn't we, with the May Your Birthday Be Memorable? Pretty sure we used that on a card. I know I've used it recently, but we're gonna use this flower right here from Timeless Tropical. Okay, and we're actually just gonna pop it right on the back of this one from our previous card, and that will be fine. Okay. So we're gonna ink up our flower in Blushing Bride ink. Stamp it right on there and that is good to go. Okay, then why don't we, let's try this. We're gonna do our stamping, our congratulations in Smoky Slate ink. Let's just do, make sure it's going the right way. And so this is kind of a test because my camera is right in the way of, yeah, because that's not stamped very well, right in the way of where I would normally put my head to make sure, there, that one's better, make sure that things are lined up well. So when they're not, you just flip it over and you hope you've got two more tries here. Okay, let's try one more. And you know what? We don't have to be totally anal. It'll be all right. Ooh, that one's good. Okay, so I think we got three good ones, right? One, two, and that third one right there. So, okay, shoo, okay. I have tons of those strips, though. I just didn't, unfortunately, bring more over of the over here with me is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now let's do our die cutting and embossing. So we'll do our embossing first on this piece. <laughs> Forgot the other platform, didn't I? I see I have my blue embossing plate. Okay, one more sec. See, I told you, like... Is it really Friday? Okay, hold on. I really thought I was very well prepared. 
you know? Sometimes though, okay, let's see, we want to use, this is the Absolutely Argyle, so super cute, new, just kind of add some fun texture to our piece here. Okay, so we're gonna open that up. There's a line here. So we're gonna kind of try to line that up right there. So that will help us. We're gonna lay that down. And because this is a 3D embossing folder, we need a regular platform. And then we need the blue 3D embossing folder plate, okay? Let's get those out of the way. And I have to show you guys, because I think it's this is always like the woohoo. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And it's stuck in there. <laughs> okay. Maybe if I flex it, there we go. Yeah, that really did stick in there pretty well. Isn't that cool though? Awesome embossing folder, right? Okay, now we are gonna do our die cutting. So we want this guy back here. And let's see what all, uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna trim this off because I don't want this whole stalling. Sorry, that might have timed out for a sec there. I think we're all good. So I canceled that phone call. Whoever's calling, I will call you back. Um, okay, so those are gonna go there. Now I have to show you this other fun thing. These are the, they're called In the Tropics dies that of course coordinate beautifully with this timeless tropical stamp set. So that's the stamp we used right there, right? So we're gonna grab this little baby right here. We're gonna put that on our flower. I'll show you that in a sec. And then the others that we need are our pineapple. I just love this pineapple. So we're gonna put this one right on there and then the top of the pineapple is this guy right here. So we're gonna put that on there, put that one there. And then this one is not a symmetrical flower. And so even while that looks like it's pretty good, it's not. Just keep flipping it and all of a sudden, you'll get it around to the point where like, oh, that is exactly lined up. And you'll feel sometimes like you're there and then if you're not quite, just keep turning it. I think I'm there now. Beautiful, okay, so here we go. Oh, and then I moved it. Okay, let's try it again. Actually, you know what, it's the magnetic platform. It wasn't me, it flung itself. That silly magnetic field, it's good and then it's not. Right, then it gets a little annoying because it doesn't want to stay there. Okay, pray that it doesn't move. Here we go. Everything else, as long as it's on the paper, you're fine. Okay, we are gonna go back and forth a time or two because I am hopeful that that bottom of the pineapple, sorry, I know it's wiggling. This is just helpful to make sure everything's cut really well. Okay, so here's our flower. That popped out beautifully, right? Okay. Then we have this piece, the top of our pineapple, and we're actually gonna emboss this. I'm gonna show you that in just a sec. We'll scoot that over here. Let's see how, ooh, okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. If this is, oh yeah, it does. Awesome. I, I was thinking, oh no, is it gonna pop out? Because I forgot my paper piercing tool. I do have my snips, so that would work. But do you see, so that cut those things out. There are a couple that still need to pop out, but we'll grab those in a sec. Okay, so we're gonna scoot this stuff out of the way and we are gonna do our embossing with our, let's grab our platform. So I forgot about this. <laughs> with our subtle embossing folder, we are gonna give a little bit of texture to the top of our pineapple. So we're gonna pop that in there. That goes there, and then because this is a super thick embossing folder, we just need one plate on top, not underneath. Okay. And that one's stuck in there a little bit. So it just adds a little bit of texture. It makes it look a little bit more real, I think. Okay, so let's scoot that guy out of the way. All right, I think we are ready to put our card together now that I've flung everything all over the place. But I think we'll be okay. So adhesive right here in front of my face. Okay, good, good, good. So we are gonna put some adhesive on the back of, you guys are super quiet. It's so funny, everybody's always like, but we're concentrating, we're watching. So hopefully you guys are enjoying all these fun new products. 
Okay, so we're gonna pop that one right on there. You wanna put a pretty good amount of adhesive on that but with all of that um, embossing on there. Okay, so I think there were a couple, those little guys there. Actually, that's really about it. Okay, I think we're good. So I like to use my little silicone craft sheet to put my adhesive on. For me, this is the easiest way. And I'm just, I'm not running all the way across. I'm, I just kind of make this tick, tick, tick kind of sound. So I just get a little bit of adhesive all over. And then we are gonna put that, I'm trying to decide, maybe right about there, okay? Now the next kind of fun thing is we want these guys to kind of pop up here. So we're gonna kind of fold these things up a little bit so we can see where they are because then we are gonna flip this over and we're gonna add some adhesive but not to those points that we just kind of popped up. So we're gonna kind of run around and get a little bit all over there. And again, using this craft silicone craft sheet allows me to not get adhesive all over my little work surface there. Okay, so we're gonna put this one. Actually, we're gonna rub pretty firmly on here. And then I'm gonna go back, kind of pop. Doesn't this look like a real pineapple? It's so cool. Now we are going to just trim my fingernails so I can't pick anything up as usual. Um, here we go. I'm like, where are the dimensionals? Right there. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right on here maybe right about there. And then we are gonna trim off our little congratulations. Which ones were the ones that I liked? I think I liked that one right there. And we've got this one right here. And then one more, because we want three. Which one did I like here? Isn't that funny? I'm like, what did I do? Maybe I used one I didn't like, but I must like it okay now because I didn't notice that it was a big problem. Okay, so we're gonna flip that one over, we're gonna flip that one over, we're gonna flip that one over, and we're gonna get rid of that stuff there. Now we are gonna use our little mini. <laughs> oh, oh, Nancy, you weren't gonna buy the bundle. I know, I know, that's how it happens. It's funny because, um, it's funny that you say that because for me, when I looked through the catalog, and maybe it's because we're gonna go to Maui, this year, but this this stamp set and die set, the Timeless Tropical stamp set and dies, just, it looks like Hawaii to me. So I was really drawn to it. So it's funny that you said you weren't like that excited about it, but that's how it always happens for all of us. So we always feel kind of guilty, like, oh, I was, didn't even like that until I saw somebody making something with it. Um, don't feel bad. It happens to every single one of us pretty darn regularly. <laughs> So I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. All right. Yeah, there was something about just um, kind of a different color combination, like these yellows I maybe normally would not have put together, but when I saw it in the catalog, I was like, that's really kind of pretty. Uh, okay, so one more. See, I'm just pulling off these little guys if you're wondering what I'm futzing around with. Maybe we'll put that one right about there. And then the last little bit. Okay, let me show you guys how I like to add these little from my heart faceted gems. So this shimmery crystal effects is great like to kind of give shimmer, but it's also an awesome adhesive. And um, for me, I like my fine tip glue pen, but it tends to be a little bit futzy. And this one, I think because it's wider, it hasn't gotten um, stuck in there yet. So can you see, I just put a little bit of my shimmery crystal effects. So again, it's a great adhesive. Now I'm gonna open up my little package here and I'm gonna find, I used one of the big ones. So actually I'm gonna use my little take my take your pick tool. Oops, I did get it. Okay, so I got that, oops. It didn't feel like it was on there very well, but I think we're gonna get it. And we're gonna just pop that on here. Now my advice to you is leave this alone. Get it where you want it, do not play with it much because then you get that adhesive kind of smearing all around and just let it sit now. I don't even press too hard on it. The adhesive's back there, I know it's working. Just let it dry and it'll hold it right in place. So there we go, isn't that kind of fun? A little congratulations. This could be great for graduation, for, I don't know, retirement maybe, lots of different, whatever you wanna say congratulations for, right? 
Okay, so ladies, I think we are all set for today. Sorry, I feel like I'm kind of a mess here, but let me just make sure everybody knows because we have that new host code for January. You want to make sure to use the M9XQB4QV when you shop online. If you spend at least $30, you're going to get one of these cards from me. You are going to get one of these little If Loving Moments Could Heal. You'd be better already. So free with your $30 order, right? You also are going to get your name in the drawing to win the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set. Super cute little stamp set as evidenced by the fun card we made a few weeks ago on Facebook Live right there, right? And if you bump your order up to $50, you, where's the celebration catalog? That's not it. Oh, it's open right here. You get a free celebration item with your $50 order. And because I want to say thank you so much for your loyalty and shopping through me, you're going to get a package of the rhinestones as well. The beautiful champagne rhinestones. Everybody needs at least one package of these. I'm telling you, ladies. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Happy New Year. Um, let's see. Yeah, we got big basketball game tonight and dance convention all weekend. So super busy around here. There's never a dull moment. I hope you guys have a great weekend too, and we will see you next Friday. Bye, everybody. Thank you.